Shalom, hello, and welcome to Vegan Aden. everyone, so in today's video, I'm going to be making a vegan traditional Ashkenazi Shabbat dinner. So what that means is that it's going to be, we're going to have challah, we're going to have matzah ball soup, we're going to have vegan gefilte fish, we're going to have some tofu, we're going to have potatoes, and for dessert we're going to have some cupcakes. So today is Thursday and I'm going to be chopping up some vegetables and doing a little bit of the uh, preparing beforehand so that way tomorrow when I do most of the cooking it will be much easier and I won't be as stressed and it'll just be better. So let's get started with that. So I started off by making the gefilte fish and I did that by taking some potatoes and chopping them, taking a large parsnip and chopping it, and taking some cauliflower and chopping that a little more. It came pre-chopped, but I wanted the pieces to be roughly the same size as the other things. So I made it a little smaller. I then boiled it in water, and while it was boiling, I took an onion, I chopped that up really small, it said to grate it, but I chopped it. I added the root vegetables in, and I mashed them. I then added in some matzo meal, almonds, salt and pepper, ground almonds that is, salt and pepper. And then after they were cool enough, I formed them into gefilte fish patty shapes and I tried to boil them in water. Hi everyone, so as you saw I tried to boil the gefilte fish because that's what the recipe said to do. And this was my first time making the recipe and, and the, the, the gefilte fish just fell apart. So I'm going to try something else, I'm going to try to fry them on a pan. So. Yeah, you're gonna see that. I then added some oil to a pan. I swirled it around and I put the pan on medium heat. I then put the patties on the pan and I let them cook for about three minutes, at which point I flipped them over and I let them cook for about another two minutes. And then I took them out of the pan. They did still break when I tried to flip them, but they were really good and they were more like latkes now, and they didn't completely disintegrate. The last thing I did on Thursday was, while the vegetables for the gefilte fish were cooking, I took two blocks of tofu, I sliced them into quarter, each block into quarters, and I put them between sets of paper towels, with two paper towels on top, two paper towels on bottom. I then took a really delicious barbecue sauce and I poured that into a glass container. I put the tofu in, tofu just fit, and then I put more barbecue sauce on top. I put that in the fridge to marinate overnight. Hi everyone, so it is now Friday and so I'm gonna continue cooking and yeah, let's get started. So the first thing I did on Friday was I made the matzo balls for the matzo ball soup. To do that, I took matzo meal, salt, and pepper, as well as parsley and dill in one big bowl, and then in a separate smaller bowl I added potato starch and water. Then I put the potato starch mixture in with the matzo meal mixture. And I almost forgot to add water here, but I did remember, so add one cup of water or seltzer at this point, so that way you get to the consistency that is shown. To prepare the vegetables for the soup, I took two parsnips, four stalks of celery, two onions, and a turnip. I chopped those up. I then added them to the soup pot and added just enough of vegetable broth to cover them, and then I added just an extra cup of vegetable broth. I brought the pot to a boil, and once it was boiling, I covered it and let it simmer until I was done cooking for the day. To make 
make the potatoes, I chopped up some potatoes. I then added a third of a cup of olive oil and a packet of soup mix in a separate bowl, mixed those together, and put the potatoes with the soup mix mixture. I then added the potatoes to the baking sheet, and since there was also enough space on the pan, I added the tofu I marinated yesterday, and put those on the baking sheet as well. I then put it in the oven for half an hour. After half an hour, I took the potatoes out because they were done, but I wanted to get the tofu a little more cooked, so I flipped it over and put it back in for another 15 minutes. This is what the tofu looks like after it's been cooked, and here is what the tofu looks like after it's been cooked. The next thing I did was I took the matzo ball dough out of the fridge, and I rolled them into matzo ball shapes, and I put them in the soup and let them simmer for 25 minutes. To make the chocolate cupcakes, I took flour, sugar, cocoa powder, baking soda, and salt, and mixed them in a large bowl. And in a smaller bowl, I took water, vegetable oil, apple cider vinegar, trust me on this one, and vanilla, and mixed those together. I then took the wet ingredients and mixed them with the dry ingredients. I sprayed a cupcake pan with cooking spray and I filled them one half to two thirds full with the batter and I put it in the oven, let it bake for 16 to 18 minutes until I was able to poke, poke it with a knife and it came out clean and then I let it cool completely. For the frosting, I took non-dairy milk. I used cashew milk in my example but you can use whatever you like. Some melted dark chocolate and coconut oil and mix those together in a bowl. I then put them in a large bowl and using a hand mixer I slowly incorporated in powdered sugar until it was completely glazed like and I then put it in the fridge. If you got something out of this video, please give it a like, and if you have any questions or comments, you can either leave them in the comment section below or on the Reddit page that is linked in the description. Thank you so much, Litraut! Bye!